You can't just take the sun's energy and then have the energy disappear. It manifests in other ways. You know how it manifests? As heat. So why would the brightest works of intelligence end up glowing in the dark? If you intercept a star's output and run it through engines, computers, and habitats, you don't make energy vanish. You change its form. Conservation of energy and the second law of thermodynamics are not suggestions. They're the operating system of the universe. A star's light is hot and short wavelength. Any structure that harvests it must dispose of that energy at a lower temperature, which means longer wavelengths. Capture enough light, and you'll dim the star in visible bands while creating a new source in the infrared. Think of a shell re-radiating near room temperature. By Wien's law, its peak is around 10 microns, squarely in the mid-infrared. That's the telltale, a cold glow broadcasting the workload of minds. But our galaxy is full of natural infrared emitters, dust clouds, star-forming regions, dying stars, each with their own thermal signatures. Where, exactly, should we look, and what would distinguish such a civilization from ordinary cosmic dust?